Alrighty guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video. Sorry that I have not uploaded the past few days. It has been, it's been absolutely hectic. I've been doing a whole bunch of schoolwork as well as it was a three day weekend, which for the most part was really nice other than I got like some kind of like intestinal bug and I still have it. So that has not been fun and that kind of put a wrench in my plans. And then I still had some other personal stuff to attend to. So anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being patient, and today guys, I hope you will enjoy, but today we are going to be talking about five, talking about five tips to make the new legend Revenant in Season 4 Apex Legends more of a beast than he already is. How to play him properly, these five tips will instantly improve your gameplay if you take anything to heart from this video, so let's get into it. Number one is very common. It's hide the totem. This is kind of a no-brainer because you have his death totem. If they destroy his death totem, then he can go down instantly. If they find his death totem, then one can wait for him and instantly down him. Well, not instantly because he will still have his shield after the death totem use. But if you hide your totem and you hide it good enough and use it in the perfect place or close enough proximity that you don't go outside the circle of influence because there's an AOE effect on it, then this is the way that you can make it better. Number two, this one's going to sound really weird, but even though Revenant is a... <coughs> Even though Revenant is an offensive legend, don't be pure offense with him. You need to have patience with him. You need to know when to push. You still have to have all that good mechanics with pushing and rotations and everything. He's a great support player, but you have to play smarter with him. Since he does take up to 5% more bullet damage, as I mentioned in the, other, in the last video, the new Apex one, he does take more the pros and cons of revenant he does take more damage in those fights so you have to play smarter and you want to be more of a support row but you can play offense but don't be pure offensive unless you are a legitimate beast number three crouch don't run why crouch don't run because revenant has that passive ability that when he crouches he can walk as fast as a normal person would be walking without crouching this is insane because when you're crouching you make less noise and it's very very hard to hear anything if they're crouching so if you're if he's crouching and walking you could easily sneak up on a fight that's already in battle and finish clean up the team or you could even start an engagement just sneak into an opened door or in skyhook and then you could just sneak in through the open doors and go up a few flights of stairs and catch them off guard and totally melt their shields if you have an r99 or peacekeeper even number four it's how to use the silence properly so the silence is what was thought to be a huge huge thing for like just offensive weapon however i see a lot of players and people that use it basically on twitch streams or youtube videos that i've been watching since i've been way more involved with apex that don't use it properly the proper way to use a silence is to maintain pressure not to begin pressure what i mean by this is when you start an engagement wait until they're gonna use it for example if a wraith is gonna teleport out of the battle if you use your silence it will lock both her ultimate ability and that that ultimate ability and that passive ability for her to be able to go in the porter and teleport out as well as Bangalore, it would stop her from doing smoke. So if you don't have a digital threat, it's an all over done sort of thing. And number five for this video is you need to think more vertically. In the term of Apex, one thing that Revenant introduced was a huge thing of vertical distance. So he can climb anywhere from two to three times higher than any other legend. And this is a huge advantage because he can get up on top of buildings that are in Capital City and Fragment East and West that are huge 
abilities if you had a sniper or any kind of scope with a hemlock flat line anything like that and could easily get a line of sight and control the batter with the high ground the high ground is essential to winning battles in apex there's less bullet drop you have to calculate less for the bullet drop and all in all, you will have more cover at the top of the hill than you were at the bottom of the hill or at the top of the building than you were at the bottom. You could just back up and hide behind cover and then keep applying pressure. So anyway, guys, those are the five tips I have for Revenant on Apex of Legends. Tell me if you like this and I can do a video for Bloodhound, Claustic, Gibraltar, all of these different characters. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I know this was a short video, but thank you guys so much for all the support recently. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.